Hello, I'm Tesla and I'm back with a really quick Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this one, we're going to create a blueprint, add some text to that blueprint, and then make that text constantly face our player. So let's jump right in. So we'll begin by creating a blueprint for our text. So we'll right click, add blueprint, we're going to choose actor, let's just name this text. And now if we drag this out, we don't have any visual like icons showing us where this blueprint is in our world. So we're going to add a billboard component. So add component, scroll down to billboard. And now we can see exactly where it is in our world now. OK, so we'll come to the components again and we'll, we'll add our text. So we'll scroll down to text render. And let's just name this. Let's just leave it named as that. We'll scroll down and we can just change the text to test and then scale it up <laughs> okay so we'll open this up we'll come to the graph and we'll begin by right clicking and typing in get player camera manager just here now we're gonna get actor location and now with our text we'll drag this out we'll click get we're going to get the world location and we need to subtract these values so we're going to just get a vector minus vector and we'll drag these out and just type in make rot from x drag this out and we can simply just put in set actor rotation so this is just going to make it constantly face us now and to kick that off we need to tick Okay, so that's all we need to do here. So let's drag this into our world. And when we click play, it's facing us, but it's the wrong way around. So we can just rotate the text around. 180 degrees. And there we go, it's facing the right way now. Okay, so we can take this even further and just add in a box trigger. and select the text and set actor hidden in game and now with this box trigger selected we'll come into the level blueprint we'll right click add event collision add on actor begin overlap and we'll get one for the end overlap as well just here okay and now with our text selected we will right click add reference to text, drag this out and we'll type in hidden and we're going to get set actor hidden in game so when we enter the box trigger we don't want it to be hidden so we'll leave that ball unchecked now we'll copy this and paste it connect the target up and tick the check when we end the overlap we want the text to be hidden and we've already set it so when we jump in the game it starts hidden so we click play there's no text there but if we come in we can see it appears constantly facing us and then when we leave the box trigger it disappears again okay guys so this has just been a really quick tutorial setting up text to constantly face us i hope you enjoyed it thanks for checking it out and make sure you stay subscribed for all my future tutorials cheers guys